Addition and subtraction using an open number line. An open number line starts as a line with no numbers. You can start and stop them wherever you like. They're great for keeping track of thinking while solving math problems. Start by drawing a line. Start here and stop here. Use arrows to take jumps on the number line. Let's try using an open number line to add. We'll add 254 plus 133. We're going to start with a larger number, 254. We'll place it over on the left of our number line. Then we're going to break 133 down into smaller numbers that are easy to add in our heads. I call these friendly numbers. I'm going to use expanded form here and break it into 100 plus 30 plus 3. Now I can add these smaller numbers in chunks to the bigger number that I started with, like this. Let's add 100. 254, and then I'll jump forward or add 100, and where do I land? I land at 354. Now let's jump forward or add 30. If I'm at 354 and I add 30 more, now I'm at 384. Now I just have to add 3. If I'm at 384 and I add 3 more, I will land at 387. And this is my answer. 254 plus 133 is 387. Let's try a trickier one. Once again, I'll start at the larger number, 585. And I'll break the smaller number, 362, into chunks that are easy to add. Let's try expanded form again. 300 plus 60 plus two. We'll start by adding 300. 585 plus 300 is 885. Now we'll add 60. Hmm, 885 plus 60 is not actually very easy to do in my head. Let's try breaking the number apart differently. I'll still break it into 300, but instead of 60, let's do 20, and then 40, and then of course we have two. Okay, let's try adding 20 next. 885 plus 20 is 905. And then I'll add 40, and that gets me to 945. And then two more, I will land at 947, which is the answer to this addition problem. Now let's try subtracting with an open number line. This time, because I'm moving backwards on the number line, I'll start at the end by placing the larger number at the end of the line, 783. Now I'm subtracting 451, so just like with adding, I need to break it into smaller parts or friendly chunks that I can take away one at a time. Let's try expanded form. 400 plus 50 plus one. First, we'll take away 400. So if I'm at 783 and I take away 400, I'll land at 383. Next, I need to subtract 50. 383 minus 50 is 333. And then I just need to take away one more, leaving me with 332, which is the answer to this subtraction problem. Now let's try a trickier one. 865 minus 274. So I'll label the end of my line 865 because remember I'm moving backwards. And I'll break 274 apart into chunks. Let's take away 200. 865 minus 200 is 665. That was easy. Now I'll subtract 70. Hmm, that's actually pretty tricky. Maybe I'll break my number apart differently. Let's take away 60, that's pretty easy. 665 minus 60 is 605. And then I have to take away 10. Hmm, that's not very easy either. Let's take away five, I'm at 600, and then another five. Now I'm at 595. And finally, I just have to take away four more, leaving me with an answer of 591. Let's review this strategy. Start at the bigger number and break apart the smaller number, adding or subtracting one piece at a time. You can choose the numbers. 
Choose friendly numbers that are easy to add and subtract in your head. You can break these numbers apart any way you like. Choose friendly numbers. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.